Hey, speaking of uh, J.B. Gillett. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we weren't even talking about him. But speaking mm -hmm. of speaking of J.B. Gillett, um, I don't know if a lot of people remember this video, but we thought uh, we'd put it on the list and review it, man. J.B. Gillett from New Deal promo, 1996. You must Raj. be watching Just, this. even born, man. Justin, do you I know, know. Who, what three dudes were in this video? What three dudes were in this video? Yeah. No. Oh. You know I can even try? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <Okay. laughs> JB. Let me, let me try. Armando Barajas. <laughs> Who else? Julio De La Cruz and JB Gillett. <laughs> It's the crew. Kelly, so you know? I, I randomly saw this video like right around when it came out, I'd say. It was uh, Matt Milligan and then JB. JB, I can't remember. Did JB start the video? I think it was second. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was second, actually. And then Neil Irwin. Yeah. But he skated to um, that one song that was like pretty epic. Son of a Preacher. Yeah. And or whatever. Yeah. Crazy video. Was sick. Should we watch it? No. We're gonna like go. It. We're gonna move on to uh, <laughs> the, the new Thames video part. <laughs> new Thames video. No, JB Gillett, man. Let's do it. So this is a promo video, right, for New Deal? This is the promo, yeah. Nineteen. Where were you in nineteen ninety six? That was the year I started skating. Oh, oh. Oh no. Go ahead, Jesus. That was the year I started skating. The year I started skating. Yeah. Wow. I remember what 96 looked like. I can't 96, remember. I was in sixth grade. And J.B. Gillett was already skating the, the porno warehouse in San Francisco. <laughs> Before it was a porno warehouse. Kink.com. Yeah. Is he wearing a real shirt? Yeah, he is. At the ill switch front side. Always that was had so it. good. Always bro. had those good. Dude, pure seven footage back then is so good. Yeah. Dude, the metal ledges. Yeah. They were had metal on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those any scams too, dude. The whole it's a fit right there, dude. It's yeah. just that's what I that's what I wanted to look exactly <laughs> like in junior high. That's what I look like, <laughs> except fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly loves the baggies, dude. That is, is so fresh though. The jeans, it's, a, it's the white fresh. pants. Remember yeah, when we were talking about Ronnie Bertino? Yeah, how, how great he looked on, you know, weird to talk about, you know, men's outfits, but, you know, look great. <laughs> it's so simple yet. Just you gotta like the way you look. <laughs> <laughs> you dude, look at this you. fit, dude. <laughs> White so shoes. Has... And the pants aren't, aren't as, they're not overly baggy. They're just right. They uh -huh. fit. They're just right. They're perfect, bro. It's so perfect. funny going and watch old footage when Wallenberg was a ledge spot. People were still jumping down to I got to skate there when I was in eighth grade, man. Or a freshman, I think. Dude, going to San Francisco for the first time, if you're like with skate tourism, was like the wildest shit to see. Yeah. Going to like Pier 7 and then Mini Hubba was across the street and then Hubba was above it. And it was just like, you're at Disneyland. Yeah. I always wanted to go to this spot. One that Mike that's Carroll, that's Wallenberg. That's Wallenberg. I know, but top. I never went to that. I never went to the spot. Oh, it's, it's up, up top. top, right? I never yeah. went there. I always every time we'd go to Wallenberg, it was like for something. To look at the stairs. That spot was sick, dude. I love seeing footage of that spot. Crazy. He has that's such sick. a unique push too that you just know it's him when you see him push. Right. You know? Yeah. Dude, is he wearing the clocker or is that like um Rudy's shoe? Is I think it's Rudy's shoe. Yeah. Oh, it was DC shoe. Yeah. yeah. It's like one of the very first ones. Dude, all the early DCs were super sick. They were like really kind of simple almost, but they were clean. The and they all had like the lace loop things. Mm -hmm. And then and they had there was one that had the DC around the heel. Is that oh, it? Oh yeah, one? that was Rudy's shoe. Yeah, that was Rudy's shoe. So it was like kind sick. of like a fake uh, shell toe. Yeah, <clears throat> the second Rudy shoe he had, it was like it had the big DC logo on the side. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. Oh, that one was that was awesome. Yeah, it was like I a love... fake shell toe. Yeah, it had yeah, dude, that shoe was so sick. Nay you roach. <laughs> <laughs> what does he roach. say right there? I said roach. <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the he you listen to him talk and you start laughing. He's just a funny dude. Yeah, he's a dude. funny dude. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. <laughs> he's so much fun to hang out with. Are you guys ever skated that spot? I've been there. Dude, it looks sick. I mean back then it looked perfect. Hotel DeVille. Mm -hmm. Well they redid it, right? Yeah. 
the benches are smaller now that they redid it. Oh, did they build it on top of the old? Yeah, if you look at it, like the 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 ground's a little higher than it was originally. Oh. So it's like super fun to skate the fucking benches now. I'm sure. I mean, look how untouched those benches look. Yeah, they look like 1996. Buttery. Yeah. Perfect spot, man. Crazy. I love that switch flip, dude. So good. Dude, this makes me love skateboarding so much. I get so happy when I watch shit like this, dude. With the America scope shoe? The scope. How can you tell with this such grainy footage? That's I'm like, how the it, fuck do you it see is just, that shit? It's yeah. just a black shoe. Like, you can't even tell. No. Because <laughs> this time I had my, um, me and my friend Matt had our store with him. We sold a ton of those shoes. I remember what shoe, I had a pair of those. Those are, I got them in a swap those are good for shoes, like 20 dude. bucks. Bring the shoe back. Hmm. That was sick. Are those Converse? Dr. J said. Yep. I know it's the only logo I could see in this whole video. <laughs> they don't make that shoe skatable now, do they? Like, it's not in the skate no. line at all? It's not in the skate line now. That's a sick Which shoe. Is shit, really. Totally. It's funny, like, um, when I worked there, whatever, they were always afraid of, like, touching any originals or heritage um, the, stuff. That makes sense, though. Yeah. yeah. At least like, at that we, time. Yeah. Around that time, like, um, when I was, like, working there, I'd give, like, Bobby Puglio those shoes and, like, my boss would get mad at me for not giving them like the CS3s or some bullshit. The what, helium that's what, shoes? <laughs> yeah, because like, that's what they were trying to sell at the time. Like, right. like, we're not trying to sell those. That's the original department. That's not our job. It's like, well, this guy looks goddamn good in these shoes. So, like, <laughs> Imagine back then trying to get Bobby Puglio helium. <laughs> yeah, he needed them for sure. He was just like, dude, just send me these. It's all I want. I'm like, I'm going to try, you know? But like my boss would always like give me fucking problems about it. So wait, you were there when Shani had that uh, helium shoe? Yeah, I left right around that time. Like, were you a part shoe of the commercial where he has the balloon and he floats no, away? I, was there for that. <laughs> I think Andy Howell's production company did that. That was oh. sick. Hey, no I cab, I'd run, I'd run them helium joints today if I could. <laughs> the, no, they, they kind of were pretty, they were kind of tight, dude. They were mad tech, so like yeah. not really like <laughs> skate. They were so but, light. Like, they, were so hey, they had helium in them. <laughs> <laughs> Shani's first shoe, though, was indestructible. Yeah, that shoe looked good, too. It was so good to see. It was like a fucking, um, like, German Ray's Duke shoe on steroids. <laughs> Damn. I love this line. This, this Just the manual. Pure Chilling. Yeah. Uh, dude, again, fit. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Yeah. Hard as fit. Baggy <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> <JB's pretty. laughs> so sick. White shoes, dog. That shit is fresh, bro. Clean as fuck. Dude, like just put, if I if, with a backpack, that's me at school. Just right there. <laughs> <laughs> I like he's just like SF Leon. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's Mini Hubba. Yeah. That's what they would call. I would hear they call it Mini Hubba. It was like right down from Hubba Hideout. But still a part of Embarcadero. Yeah. Like I said it last, I think it was last episode, but it was talking about uh, Brad Johnson's Instagram. Have you guys seen his stuff? Yeah, they've been killing it. Dude, it's like every day, it's like multiple clips and it's all that era and it's so good. Yeah. So we'll talk about... Uh, Brad probably shot a lot of this. <laughs> I know. Oh, he did for sure. Like Marcus McBride trying to heal the 50 50 at Hubba. Yeah. Hubba. And he gets into 5 0 a bunch of times. Dude, uh. I, just, I love the behind the scenes, man. See, See this is, this is, yeah, I was, I was just going to comment on this. Bit. <laughs> yeah. the, the, here's, here's what I love about the leather at these wraps. The yeah. Pant fits. Look, look how it uh, doesn't go into the shoe. Can't. Yeah, look at how it. It bunches up in the back and it's, and it's, you know, it's up in front, like <laughs> the laces and then it yeah. bunches up in the back. You see them there? Yeah. Dude, I can't I stand guess. it when, when you're skating and you're- You don't know what I'm saying, Stasis? I mean, I get it, but that was, nowadays that looks gross. It's like a boot cut almost. That yeah, was that's the, disgusting. That was the shit back then though. But you can't have the pants over the tongue. Nah, exactly. Like you that can't. shit is. It was some fucking Lee pipes or some shit. Like <laughs> that shit out of here. Sometimes it's it goes over, over but whatever. yes, yes, it is clearly over the tongue. Well, yeah. okay. Well, it's down to the fucking second part of his laces at the bottom. Well, you can still see his laces. <laughs> 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 He's trying to hide those ugly ass leather shoes, though. You don't like yeah. those, dude? The, the all leather fucking wraps were 
pretty gross. They look dope as fuck, though. I've seen LeVar skating. I was like, damn, these are sick. It was like a weird pebble leather, you know? You know, you'd be skating and, you, and the back of the, your pant would get caught underneath your shoe. Mm-hmm. That's literally what's happening. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I tweaked my meniscus or my uh, ACL or something like that at the barracks because my back pants went on the back of my heel, slid on the ground and Ooh. hyperextended my knee. It's, yeah, it's, dang- it's dangerous. It's scary. You know, we were rolling the dice back then. Oh, for sure. I had, Chris, you had so many jeans that, that they would have like arches on the back because I just ate away at the fucking back of the jeans. Yeah. Oh, on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris had some good fits back in the day. Yeah. I always liked that you Started wore yellow belts. shirts. Yeah, yeah. I used to rock the yellow shirt. This is before the studded <laughs> belt, dude. This is like, you know, the, the graffiti pit days. He's shooting with Lance Dawes trying to get him slapped, dude. Is that what he, what he did? No. He had to balance out the paleness of his skin with the oh. yellow shirt and the, and the beard. Back then, back then I had a, back, actually back then I had a great tan because we, we were skating Venice pits every day. We were skating the sand gaps every day. We were skating the courthouse every day.